So in this last uh, lesson of chapter four, we're going to be looking at uh, logarithms. And logarithms are used to help us solve exponent problems when the exponent is unknown to us. So in the previous contact block, you were asked to solve the two problems that are shown on the screen. And hopefully by the end of this lesson, you can go back to those two problems and actually find the exponents without actually guessing and testing. So let's, let's start off with, with some um, easier problems in terms of when, uh, changing exponents to logarithm problems as well as vice versa. So in this problem here, uh, we're given the uh, four's the base, three's the exponent, and then, and then the answer uh, to that exponent problem is in this case x. So we do logarithms. It's a log of, and this, this number here is the, uh, the base. So it's the base. It's kind of a subscript like H2O for, uh, for water. Of the um, answer, the exponent, in this case it would be x, equals the exponent itself. So log base 4 of x equals 3. So, why don't you come down to the two problems and uh, rewrite those as logarithm problems by placing, again, the base is the subscript, the answer, and that's equal to the exponents. So again, logarithms um, will give us the answer to the logarithm problem. We have three problems done. Uh, turn the video back on. So this one here would be log base 9 of our answer equals 2. This is log base x of my answer, which is 125, equals 3. And the last one is log base 12 of my answer equals x, which is my x. I'll try to put the x in the variable in different places so that you don't, you don't get the habit of just putting the x the variable in the same place each time. So. <clears throat> and then this screen, we're going to go back the other direction. So based on the previous problem, can you write the x uh, export problem that would go with these logarithm problems? Use the first one done, keep the video on, and we'll get the first one, and then turn it back off and then complete the other four. So the, the form we're looking at is A b to the x. So in this problem here, um, our, x, our x is, um, uh, or sorry, our base is 3, our exponent is x, and then we said equal to 12, in this case it would be the y. So the a is probably going to be the one thing that's going to be missing here. So it's 3 to the x equals 12. So the way to do a four is down and done so. Turn the way back out when you're done. So this is 9 dx equals 46. This one here uh, does not have a base. So going back to our decimal activity, this number is 10. So it's 10 to the x equals 291. 2 to the 39 equals x. And the last one is 4 to the 413th power equals x. So again, I put x in a little different place just to see whether or not you would actually keep putting an exponent or, or place it where it belongs. So sometimes, like the last two problems, all the way calculated, have a hard time doing it. But sometimes, when you turn back into an exponent problem, you can actually stick in calculate to find the answer. But most of the time, the problems are going to look like the first three. Where you're looking for that exponent, and it's, it's kind of hard to figure out when it's in, ex, when it's in exponent form, but it would be much easier for you to lesson to just turn back into a logarithm problem. All right, so in terms of our basic rule here, is that um, the exponent is the answer to the logarithm, the base of uh, the exponent is a subscript. And then the number that goes next to the log is always the answer to the problem. So if you would rewrite these uh, problems here into the other form, and turn the video back out when you're done. All right, so this is uh, 3 to the 4th equals 81, and 3 to the 4th does equal 81. 2 to the 5th 
equals 32, which actually is correct. This is log base 5 of 125 equals 3. This is log base 10, and the 10, and only the 10, the 10 is not necessary, so I could write this as log base 1000 equals um, 3. And we'll work with the 10 here, the base. And then the last one, let's go ahead and do it uh, well with the negative exponent. So the log of our base, which is 3, of our answer, which is 1 9, equals negative 2. Sometimes you may get, get a logarithm that's going to be negative is it, uh, because the exponent sum is going to give us some number between 0 and 1. All right. So what happens if I don't, uh, what happens if I have problems like this? Kind of going back to the two problems in the previous content problem. The one thing that you have to remember is that that's your calculator. Not all calculators, but most calculators are designed to do log logarithm problems with base 10. So in other words, if I go back to, let's say, this problem here, and if you would type into your calculator the log of 125, because you cannot, most calculators you can't actually put in the physical base. So we typed in, press the log key, hit 125, and hit equals, you would not get the answer of 3. But if I would put in log of 1000, because the base is 10 here, and hit equals, the answer would be 3. Same thing with uh, log base 3 of 81 equals 4. If I would put the log of, of um, 81 and ignore that 3, the answer you get would not be 4 because the base here is always 10 when you use the log of the key in the calculator. So how do we handle problems when the base is not um, 10? So it's really uh, actually uh, fairly simple. So it's actually two logarithm problems. So it's a log of 241 divided by the log of 9. And if you put that in your calculator, make sure um, when you put, use the log key, it may not be in the calculator, but quite often that they will put in a parenthesis. So make sure that you're type of pressing the LLG key, not the LN. There's two kinds of logs. So the log of 241, close the parentheses, divided by the log of 9. And x is approximately 2.496. So if I put in 9 to the 2.496 exponent, my answer should be about 241. Let's check. So again, X is going to be the log of my answer, or log of the answer is 200, divided by the log of the base, which is 6. So log of 200, divided by the log of my base, which is 6, and the answer comes out to be approximately 2.957. So 6 to the exponent 2.957. Should give me an answer that's very close to 200. All right, so if I go back to the previous screen, when we're talking about that again, okay. so we talked about uh, this problem here did not work on our calculator because it has a base of 5. If I had put in the log of 125 divided by the log of 5, if I put that problem in the calculator, then you would get an answer of 3. So go ahead and check it. We'll move on. Log of 125 plus the parentheses divided by the log of 5, and you should get an answer of so this is our way of doing an exponent problem when the bases are not 10. Hopefully you're following two through.
So if you go ahead and do these um, six problems, turn the video back on when you are ready to look at the answers. And the um, second problem here, this should be actually 5 to the x, not 5 to the 7. So go ahead and finish the problems, turn the video back on when you are ready. So save a little bit of time, I went ahead and complete the six problems. So it's the x point is going to be equal to the log of the answer divided by the log of the base. So um, I run all the answers thousands, would recommend doing that. I went ahead and put in like 2 to the x equals 0.25. I wanted to give an answer, a uh, problem in which the x point has to be negative since it's between 0 and 1. This one actually comes out to be exact. Um, x actually equals exactly negative 2. So, the next episode of problems. So, here's an application problem. Uh, stock has an average um, rate of uh, yearly growth of 6%. If Sam purchases uh, $5,000 of stock in 2023, how long until Sam's uh, investment triples in value? So we're actually going to set the problem up, and then from that, uh, try to find the uh, time, how long, and how long is our X stock. Turn the video back on, and we need more additional information. But, uh, and give you that problem. It's an incomplete problem uh, on your own to begin with, but it will give you a way of helping. All right, so the, uh, the A value is 5,000. This is 6% growth, which means that you need that 100% plus the 6%, so it's 106% is the arc value. You turn it into a decimal number, it's 1.06. We're trying to figure out how long it's going to take at that, at that growth rate. Um, which is 1.06, and then we want it to triple. So that means how long until um, Sam's investments is equal to $15,000. So if, if, if this is the, the setup wasn't done, so turn the video off, finish the problem off, otherwise conti uh, continue with the video. So we kind of reverse order of operations, we're going to exponential piece by itself, so we're going to divide those sides by 5,000. What I end up with is uh, 3 on the left side. And, and that should hopefully make sense if I'm not looking for when the truck is. And then from here, I want to find the exponent. So this is where I get the log that's coming in. So the log of my answer divided by the log of my base should tell me how long it will take for Sam's investment to triple. So log of my answer. Divide by the log of my base, and it will take approximately 18.854 years, that's 6%, uh, before Sam will see the, the investment triple. Alright, so we looked at in the desert activity two rules, and so one's a product rule, one's a quotient rule. So in the product rule, what we're doing is we're, uh, we're going to expand the problem out. So this becomes log base 2 of 5 plus log base 2 of 2. So anytime we have the multiplication problem, we expand out, it expands out into addition. If I want to condense it back the other direction, it becomes log base 8 of 20 times 2, which is the same as log base 8 of 40. So generally take this number here and you turn it into a multiplication problem to expand it out to an addition. So we're going to do the other three, either expand it or condense it. Turn the video back down when you are ready to continue. So the third problem, we're going to expand it. <clears throat> so it becomes log base 3 of 9 plus log base 3 of 5. Um, last problem, also expanding log base 6 of 12 plus log base 6 of 2. I use parentheses a lot as I try to, just because I want to make sure we get the distinction between the, the, the number, um, the base, and the, and the number itself. Um, and then going back the other way, it's going to log, be log base 7 of 15 times 4. And that simplifies the log base 7 of 16. 